Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back with the premiere of a new series from me and Jason from Horrific Nightmares. It's our seldom seen series. And in this first video, I'm discussing Stir of Echoes 2, The Homecoming. This seldom seen series will literally be a seldom seen series because the plan is to only upload one of these videos each month. We may eventually extend it to twice a month. We'll see how it goes. But for now, you'll just be getting 12 of these for this year. That's not why it's called the seldom seen series, though. That's because... In this series, Jason and I will be discussing movies that are seldomly seen. We will mainly be focusing on seldom seen sequels, but not always. And the majority of them will be horror, but not all of them. These are not review videos either. They're just discussions. The point is to maybe introduce movies you may not even realize exist. There are so many that are often neglected, especially sequels. To start things off, we thought Stir of Echoes 2, The Homecoming, was the perfect representation of this series. This is the type of movie you can expect us to cover each month. First of all, did you even know there was a Stir of Echoes sequel? And if you did know this existed, have you actually seen it? The original Stir of Echoes starring Kevin Bacon was a pretty big deal in 1999 when it was released. Jason and I even reviewed it during the Fangoria Challenge. But then, eight years later, in 2007, this made-for-TV sequel premiered. Truth be told, I do remember when this was released. I had seen this DVD around but I didn't really think twice about it. At that point, it had been a while since I had seen the first Stir of Echoes, so I didn't remember how much I actually liked that first movie. Not that it should matter. Each film should sort of stand on its own, and I can tell you right off the bat, Stir of Echoes 2, The Homecoming, is definitely a worthy successor. Unfortunately, back then, I sort of forgot about this, until only recently. After Jason and I rewatched Stir of Echoes for the Fangoria Challenge, we got to talking about the sequel. Jason had already owned this DVD, but he had never seen it in its entirety. My curiosity was spiked, and I decided to keep an eye out when I went to thrift stores. It took a few months, but I did eventually find it and added it to my collection, as you see here. That's when we came up with the idea for this series which was originally only going to focus on seldom-seen sequels. We since decided to not lock ourselves in to just sequels and call it the seldom-seen series. But still, with Stir of Echoes 2 being the movie that inspired the idea, we knew we had to begin with it. And let me tell you, I am so glad we did. This was awesome. Stir of Echoes 2 The Homecoming stars Rob Lowe, and it was written and directed by Ernie Barbarash. He also directed Cube Zero, which we'll be watching for Franchise Frenzy, and he was a co-producer on American Psycho, among other films. It's also worth mentioning that The Homecoming does directly connect to the first Stir of Echoes. While it does follow its own original story, it is not just a sequel in name only, and I really do like how it does connect. Rob Lowe plays National Guard Commander Ted Kogan. While in Iraq, he falls into a coma after being involved in a horrific incident. He is returned home severely injured and not expected to recover. But he does. His friend and neighbor is not so lucky, however. During his homecoming, Ted's wife Molly and son Max start to see a different side of him. Of course, this isn't unexpected with what he experienced, but it's not only the trauma with which Ted is dealing. He begins experiencing supernatural occurrences, and in order to stop the haunting, a mystery must be solved. 
As far as the synopsis goes, I'll leave it there. I don't want to give too much away, because then this will remain seldomly seen. This film is dark. Dare I say, Stir of Echoes 2 is even more disturbing than the first one. I actually think that's definitively the case. The word wow was repeated quite a few times between Jason and I while we watched this. We always go into movies expecting to enjoy them, at least somewhat, but this was a pleasant surprise. The homecoming impressed us both, and we could not wait to film these videos to discuss it. Watching it got us excited about the series all over again. I love the look of the ghostly images Ted sees. There are some genuinely creepy visuals. Stir of Echoes 2 feels a lot like the first film. They have the same tone. Although, I reiterate, this sequel is darker. That itself is an impressive feat, I think. Rob Lowe is really good in the role. I love the mystery he has to solve, and I absolutely love the twists and turns it takes. The ending is pretty hard-hitting. That earned one of the biggest wows from Jason and me. It's a shame that Stir of Echoes 2, The Homecoming, is a seldom seen sequel, because I definitely think it deserves way more attention. It's a fantastic follow-up to the original, despite being a TV movie. You may not have known about it before, but now you do. So hopefully, you watch it too. But first, please be sure to also watch Jason's video to hear his thoughts on Stir of Echoes 2, The Homecoming. Have you seen it? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Which seldom seen movie will we cover next in this series? Check back next month to find out. Until then, remember, physical media matters. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe.